Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we are back with another video So we're gonna step away from the power league just for today as I realized I haven't showed you guys any competitive content in a very long time almost three weeks now i'm pretty sure so obviously queso cup has been going on it goes on all year long the i think the fourth edition has recently started and we're currently five games into it so we're, so we're going to be showing you the fifth game and then obviously showing you guys the standings towards the very end we don't want to spoil anything so we can catch you guys up to date there's two more matches left one of them against Vatra and the other one against Tribe Gaming and then the playoffs start. So we have a bunch of really good matchups that we're going to be able to show you guys. But with that being said, let's just hop into the games versus Aqua and let's show you guys what happened. So going into game one, OG is going to be playing the Gene. Now I'm kind of staying away from Gene as of late because it just, it's, it's not really a carry brawler. I like to play more carry brawlers or brawlers that I think make a really big impact on the game. And I feel like as of late, Gene just isn't that... Zara is going to be going with the Rico, and I'm going to be going with the Brock. Now, this is the very first game, so you usually expect traditional comps in the first game. So we went something like Rico, Brock, Jean, and they just pull out the Poco Double Tank immediately. So, kind of unfortunate for us, uh, but we can manage it. I mean, we do have a Rico, so if Rico carries hard enough, it is possible to win. We're going to do our very best, and we do have a Jean into a Poco, which is also really good. So, Poco's right beside us. We're going to pull the Poco, but unfortunately, we just learned... That it is a screeching solo poco so we're actually not going to get the kill and instead it's going to kill both of us which was very very unfortunate although now luckily we're close to our supers i'm pretty sure og's like one shot off supers. so again this game is still winnable it just is going to be really tough for us to do so um you're going to use a rosa gadget but again we're just trying to break everything open we're trying to control the middle not let them get in but their comp is it's pretty toxic into ours i'm not gonna lie um, it definitely is a counter. 6-5 right now, though, it is a winnable game. We're getting a couple hits on Ben, trying to not let Ben get in. Same thing with Slash. We're trying to keep Slash away. Slash is actually really low. But then, Zar goes down below us. We get the kill on the Rosa, but then Ben just comes in with the Mortis, and he's able to kill us pretty easily. 14 seconds left. You know, Zar is going to do his best. He's going to go up. Uh, but this one's going to be pretty hard for us to reset, because they do have a Poco. We're trying our very best, but there's nothing really that we can do. OG gets the pull body blocked. I got my shots body blocked, and that's going to be the first game. Nice. So we, for game number two, we decided, you know, let's let's relax a little bit with the, with the range comps and the skill comps. Let's go a little bit more traditional into the meta. Um, so we're going to be going Tara, Jean, and Rico. This is basically like just your average meta comp on this map. We just didn't want to get out comped. We counter tanks. We do good into basically everything, but the Sandy does counter us. Now, Slash is doing a really, really good job on this right side, getting more hits than I do. Right now, we're kind of just trying to see who can get super before the other one. And Slash definitely did have an early lead in this. But towards the end, I was able to catch up a little bit. As you guys can see over here, he's a little bit lower in HP. On the other side, we have Zar versus SND. And this is going to be really difficult for Search. His name is Search and Destroy, short form SND. Because Zar just outranges by so much. And it's just really hard to get close. We get Slash a little bit low here, and we get him wasting a couple shots. So we're going to take the inside position. I'm going to get my super, and Ben's going to go on the inside. So I'm just going to super Ben and get an easy kill. And we're going to get six gems. So the game's going pretty well. OG has two gems. I have it's nine nothing. You know, the game's going pretty well. We have Slash on the right side. I think we definitely had to attend to Slash a little bit more. I don't know how this pull gets me. I thought I'd be perfectly fine just wrapping around the wall. I don't. Ben kind of panic supers. OG supers Ben throws him back kind of unfortunate for us because i think it would have been better if he didn't do that because i was about to get my super but either way we're able to take out ben over here czar gets a kill and now there's just search in the middle so i'm going up this left side trying to sneak onto search search pulls back so we get a double pull over there and we're able to get one almost get ben as well but we weren't able to and then we solo pull slash because he was just getting a little bit dangerously close um, and you know, we don't want to let him kill us. We have the gems that he needs to win So we just go for the solo pull and we try and hold our lane now Now Zark kind of whips a little bit of that super over there um, And we're in a pretty bad spot at this point OG can't pull slash because slash has the tar pets and he's just gonna you know Spawn the tar pets and body block the gene pull. So there's nothing really OG can do right now We just naturally get backed up because they have you know pets and supers and all that stuff i get my super now og with a good pull over there it was a blind pull i get supered by ben i go for the solo pull i'm able to get the kill 
And then right here, we kill Slash, but then Search barely makes it out with 300 HP. It was kind of toxic, but we're able to reset, I think. Yeah, we're able to reset over here, but it pushes us kind of in an awkward position because I'm in the mid right now. I'm like kind of close to super, but not that close at the same time. And Slash, I believe, is also really close. They get the next gem spawn, and I'm just trying to get hits. Slash is also trying to get hits. He gets a hit off on OG over there, and I think he gets one off me right there. He does, and again, I'm close to super. I'm telling OG just pull something because I'm close, and I'm trying to charge my pull. He goes for the pull on Gene. I get my pull. I go for something, but not able to get it. And that was a really good game, but we're going to take the L over there, and that's going to be the first set to Aqua. So going into the next game, it's going to be Backyard Bowl. Now, obviously there are bans. I'm pretty sure Piper is banned. Buzz, I think, might be banned. I don't know, but Piper is definitely banned, so I'm not going to be on the Piper. We're just going to go with the traditional comp here again. Something that can't really get countered because we were a little bit worried that they would go with tank comps. We wanted to have three anti-tanks. Just because of the first game on Gem Grab, they had the anti-tanks. Um, so we're going to go with the Crow, Bell, and Spike. They're going to go with the Leon. Now, the good thing about our comp is we have Spike on the Leon lane. So that takes out the Leon turret perfectly fine, which is the only really advantage that they have over us. And with the Crow, you kind of just want to play the game slow. You want to poke. You don't want to just go up and get shot. You want to slowly poke, get your super, get some slows going. But my team's doing a really good job at hitting shots right now. It's a 3v1 versus Slash. I just got to walk forward. I pass the ball forward. Auto aim Slash. He was already marked. And that's going to be a pretty quick goal for this map. Because this map usually takes forever for someone to score. And we're going to be up 1 to nothing in this game. Now, they're going to lane switch. So, we're going to do the same thing. Follow on and lane switch. Uh, Ben's going to be able to take out Zar with the big rocket over there. But not too much of a concern really for us. Because they don't have any wall break right now. Because Ben just used the big rocket on that. And then a super on us. So, they can't really score. So, right now, we're kind of just hanging out. Kind of just, you know, trying to stay alive. Zar gets a really good kill over there. Um, I'm pretty sure I slow search. Yeah, I do slow search. Uh, Slash is going forward, trying to make a play. But OG is here, you know, ready to stop that with his super. I have my super and invincibility. So, I was going to jump out. But I elect not to because no one was close enough. OG doing a really good job at getting them low over there. Um, same with Zar as he hits that shot. So, I'm going to jump forward on Ben. At the same time, Zar hits a shot over there on their mid, so I'm going to be able to walk up and just put the ball in the net, and that's going to be the first Brawl Ball game. So going into game number two, we decide to stick with the same comp. They go with a similar comp, but instead they go with a Crow instead of whatever they had. I forgot what they had. Um, but they're going to go with a Crow, and that's just going to make this lane a little bit slow. This game is going to turn into a little bit of a more slow-paced game, because right now it's kind of just Bell shooting a Bell, OG trying to get the turrets out of the way for Leon and then me and SD kind of just poking at each other. You guys can see when I, eventually I do these really toxic pokes where I only the left side or the left dagger, sorry, not the left side, the left dagger shoots and it basically hits SD every time. It was actually pretty cool. Um, OG doing a really good job on this right side over here with Slash. And this is, I move up, I try and get more aggressive because my teammates are and we have a 2v1 right now. You know, we're just trying to gain some position, but right now I'm basically only shooting for my left dagger over there And I'm pretty sure it's the same thing very shortly I'm basically only gonna be shooting for my left dagger to hit I'm not trying to hit anything else outside of the left dagger uh, Because it's just a wall peak slow paced match right now and there's nothing that we could really do so this left dagger shot I'm just trying to get the angle as you know nice as possible trying to get as many hits as possible We get a good one over there Pretty close to my super, but as I said, it's a really slow-paced game. I'm finally able to hit Ben, which I've been trying to hit like the entire game, trying to slow him. Unfortunately, we can't capitalize and get the kill, but at least we do get some positioning. Slash goes invisible, so I make sure to tag him. And then we get a double slow going, so I'm going to jump over there on search. We're able to take out search, and then Ben also goes down. So same thing as last time, I pick up the ball, put the ball in the net, and it's going to be one nothing for us with about 45 seconds left in the game. So right here, we just try and play super defensive. Uh, we just don't want them, you know, obviously to be able to score. So although we're not, you know, backed up in our spawn, we're still trying to be as aggro as possible. Now, OG goes down, which kind of sucks. Zar goes down, and I go down as well, but I am able to hit a triple slow before I go down. 
So that kind of slows their progress a little bit. If I was Surge over there, I probably would have jumped on Zar, seeing that Zar only had one shot. I respawn immune, so I just go forward. I just jump on them, and that pretty much wraps up the game. I really enjoy playing Crow, to be honest. It's one of my favorite brawlers to play nowadays, but the team did a really good job this game um, and this set in general. We're going to go on and take this set win to nothing, and it's now going to be 1-1 one, one in sets. So going on to the next set, it's going to be Shooting Star. Now, usually we love this map. But they banned Piper, so it's going to be a little bit different. It's going to be a little bit weird. Um, Ben's going to get a really early kill over there on Zar. I asked Zar if he wants to switch lane because it's just not really a winning lane for Zar. Bell versus Brock is a little bit tough for the Bell because the Brock can two shot you, but you can't, you know, two shot the Brock. So I switch. Ben has some position, so it's a little bit hard to get back into the lane, but we got back pretty nicely over there. I think Zar hit one shot earlier, which helped out as well. I had a shot over there, Ben hits me, and then I somehow miss my rocket, and Ben hits his. Well played by Ben over there. I really don't know how my rocket missed, but it did. Um, I'm going to move up and try and take the lane over here, but Ben is doing a really good job on the Brock this game, I do have to say. OG does get his Nani head, so he's going to be moving up. He's going to be targeting the Brock. He's going to be able to get that kill. The Nani head is really hard to juke, and Ben is a little bit rusty. Um, he hasn't been playing too too much so it is a little bit difficult to dodge nani heads if you know you're rusty so i will give him the benefit of the doubt over there but we're in a pretty bad spot right now um it's a little bit difficult for us at this point because ben has super so i can't really push up onto him and he's just kind of hiding behind that wall and then they have the tick just kind of spamming out the mid i got really lucky over there i think ben over peaked by accident uh which allowed us to get the kill and the game you know, it became a one kill game right now and things are going pretty well. You know, Slash is in that corner. He's going to be able to hit me over there. I was really hoping I could juke it and kill him. Not able to. Able to get the kill either way. And Ben picks up the kill over there on Zar. But Ben is also super low. OG is able to stay up the entire time right now. 12 seconds left, though. OG is going to go down. He does get a kill, though. And we're going to be going for Ben. We get a kill. And then Slash is up, Zar is up, and out of nowhere, OG from spawn comes. And he gets the kill on Slash. That one was kind of wild, but we were able to take the dub. I don't know how OG respawned and came up in time, but he did. But we're going to take a 1-0 lead on Shooting Star. Let's hop into match 2, show you guys what happened. So here we go into the next game. We're going to be sticking with the same comps because we won, and they're going to stick with the same comp because they thought they should have won. So that's basically what happens when it's the same comps back. Um, ben, I'm going to be able to kill right off the bat over there. Um, we did switch the lanes. I supered the mid, or not, sorry, not super. I gadgeted the mid so Zar can lane a tick. Um, if I were them, I probably would have put the tick on the right side to have them lane the Brock. I get hit by one too many shots, and Ben kind of just gets like a cheeky kill on us over there. Doesn't really hit any shots, just has to click his green button and auto aim, but... A kill is a kill nonetheless, and he gets a good one over there. And that is going to tie up the game, but we still have the blue, so we're doing really good. OG gets ahead. He's going to be going for Ben. He's going to miss over there, and he, I think he hits the tick, but the tick is going to tank it. And now Zara is getting a little bit aggressive. He's going to go down. We almost get Ben. We aren't able to, and now we're down by one star at this point. OG goes to one shot, but he's able to stay up. And it's basically just a war at this point, a fight. OG, or not OG, sorry. Ben goes for the big rocket onto Zar. Not able to hit it. And now we're going to try and get Ben. Nani head coming. We're able to juke it really nicely. And I think Zar also jukes it. So Slash is just going to hit nothing over there. Ben getting some good wiggles in. I don't know how that shot hit me, but it does. And then I walk into another one of Ben's shots. So Ben's going to be able to get a kill on me over there. Uh, and he's going to be winning the lane 2-1 right now, which is kind of toxic because I really like Brock. And I, I've been using the word toxic so much. It's just it's just my word of the month. I don't know. I'm going to continue using it. Ben's going to get a little bit aggressive over there. I'm going to miss my big rocket, but I'm going to be able to get the kill on him. And it's 10-10. So if we get this kill with the Nani head, we are going to win the game. Unfortunately, though, Search and Destroy tanks it really well. Tick head coming. We're able to take it out. I can't die if we want to win, so I kind of have to back up. OG goes for the kill. He goes down, and Zar was so close to getting that kill. But Slash is going to stay up half a second more, and we win the game. But 
last second half or last game half a second more and they would have won that game so you know what basically fair play we're gonna go into game three and we make a very major comp switch so let's hop into it and let's show you guys what it is so going into game number three for set number three very important game we decided to switch it up so it seemed like they were gonna you know stay on these comps uh that they've been playing for the entire time because there's really nothing else you can run on this map so we switched to this speed tanky heal comp now basically what this comp is is you get the blue star pretty easily gene heals both the max and the pam and then the pam kind of just goes forward uses his gadget or uses her gadget sorry uses the heals and then when we get a max speed we go a little bit aggressive now the reason this comp is good is because we can tank every nani head the nani's can't hurt us um and it's just kind of easy to get kills now i go down over there this set in general um especially last game and this game wasn't i wasn't juking very well at least until the end of this game the jukes were a little bit off i don't know why Zara's gonna get speed and move forward now the max is obviously really good when you move forward uh we're gonna be able to get the kill over there on slash ben goes for the big rocket he's not able to get us me and og get a really nice pinch over there on search and destroy and we're able to get the kill and again i get big rocketed by ben and he's going to be able to get the kill so right now we're just trying to have czar get his super he's going to be able to get it so we're going to move up over here i have my pull obviously so you know i want to pull my jukes there were pretty insane i don't know how none of those hit me that was pretty cool to watch actually um but we have really good position right now i'm getting hit by a lot of shots going for the kill on slash we're able to get it and then czar gets a really easy kill in that corner on the tick now there's 20, 30 seconds left so we're gonna think we're going back but czar decides no we're gonna move forward don't really know why but he's just going sicko mode in their spawn right now don't really know what's happening but he gets a couple of really really nice kills over there we're just trying to tank this head we're able to tank it i actually bounce into the tick so i get the kill but then i go down we can't die none of us die or else we lose five seconds left we kind of you know we're tanky we have a lot of hp genus heals so it was pretty easy for us to stay alive there we're gonna take the w and that is going to be set three done so we now have a two one lead we're on set points we only need one more set to win so let's hop into the next set show you guys what happened so the next set is going to be ring of fire now a lot of europe has been using crow on ring of fire recently it hasn't been something that people have been using in na but it's something that i wanted to try so we're going to pull out the crow left side here czar is going to go rico because rico is just broken here and it's really good for taking out uh the leon turret and then the bell mid is kind of just mandatory on this map at this point um but with the crow the crow is a really interesting pick what you want to do with crow is if it's just kind of take it slow you don't necessarily have to win lane because it's hard to win lane especially against something like a rico but your goal is kind of just not to lose lane you want to help out your teammates you want to be able to get those slows in but i'm not going to solo slow ben because i'm not going to gain anything from slowing ben he's just going to be slowed so i try to help out og in the mid i get tapped a little bit but i'd say the start is really good because pro is an end game brawler not a start of game brawler and it's tied at the start of the game so pretty good now slash is getting some really good percentage and some really good taps on myself and og um and they do have double our score right now so i'm trying to go into the middle and find slash we're able to find him and i'm gonna just decide to solo slow him because he was close enough for me to kill so we're gonna get an easy kill over there on slash uh snd is gonna move forward but we're gonna be able to get that kill i believe maybe not uh i think we do maybe not snd comes forward he's not able to get the kill and then ben is low so i go for ben over here i land on him and i kind of tank the shots that he's trying to shoot to regain to regain his hp so that's pretty good i uh, definitely would have won that interaction if he was able to get it and it's not something i really did on purpose it kind of just happened by accident but it worked out and i think i still have a slow left maybe two um and we have pretty good position now we have rico with control we have bell with traps and control we have some slows so we're in a really good spot right here ben is low and i have a mark so i just jump in on ben i think he tried to auto aim us but he auto aimed a little bit before we landed so we just shot og instead and with one minute left we have really good positioning right now um i'm able to hit the leon and at this point i'm just trying to hit them and show my teammates where they are we're able to get a double slow over there. Surge is going to move up. He's going to go down. Zara's is going to get a really easy kill on Slash. I'm going to jump on Ben. And again, another re really easy kill. And all we need is about like six more seconds on the zone. So we're just going to stand in the zone. And that is going to be game number one of Hot Zone. So going into game number two, 
we decided to switch up to a completely different comp. We're gonna go with the tanky comp. So El Ruffs, Poco, and Pam. So they're also gonna have a generally, you know, same idea. We both have screeching on our Poco. Now the difference here is we have a Ruffs. The main difference here, anyways, is we have a Ruffs and a Pam. So we're going for the more HP, the more let's just plant ourselves in the zone and try and win. And they're going with, you know, let's try and team wipe. Let's try and have Mortis flying around, BB flying around. Zar was able to hit a really good super over there. He actually hit two people with his super. So me and OG are now powered up 30 seconds into the game, which is not supposed to happen. Now, the only issue with their comp is that we have roughs. So Zar is able to, you know, get his super just super, super easily. Basically doesn't even have to try. Mortis goes in and that's not really an issue for us as OG has his gadget. So he's able to take it out really quickly. We're going to go for the BB over here, get a really easy kill on the BB, and now everyone's powered up. Everyone has a lot of HP because Zar is using the HP star power. And this game just starts to become a little bit easy for us. We're kind of just chilling, shooting. I mean, I'm a Poco. I don't even really have to aim. I'm just trying to get as many hits as possible, and I almost go down, but I'm able to chain enough shots to get all the kills. Well, not saying I get all the kills, but to stay alive. And that is basically going to be the game. There's nothing that they can really do into us. They had a good comp. Probably would have won against majority of our comps. But we basically had a counter into theirs. So that is going to be game. And we are going to move on to 5-0. Tied with Tribe for the first spot in Queso. Standings are going to be on your screen right now. And that is where things currently lie. So that is going to be it for today. I will be showing you guys the last two regular season matches for Queso when they do happen. And then the playoffs. But for now, that's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, like, subscribe, comment, all that. I will be back again soon, and I will see you guys then.